Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play um, Neuro Automata. <laughs> we uh, are back in the Resistance Camp, as you can see. I uh, have actually been playing a little bit, just playing around, running around the city, uh, killing stuff, and really just fooling around, not doing or achieving anything particularly interesting. Um, I did. I think I switched my weapon sets around off camera. I equipped the Type 40 lance just because I like the idea of using a lance for a change and it's pretty good. It's not quite as powerful as my um, default blade, but it's not far off and the Beast Lord is definitely super powerful. That's really neat. Yeah, and I also equipped these because why not? I mean, technically I suppose the, the Ancient Overlord, damage-wise, is better than the lance. Hmm. But I really want to use a lance for a change. And in fact, it's pretty cool because um, I never really experienced that. But the combo attack with heavy heavy blade uh, following lance is, is like this. Pretty fancy. Come to think of it, I don't think I ever I've ever seen the the opposite, like uh, or a lance follow up attacks for either light or heavy blades. Eh, that's something I might want to experiment with at some point. This ancient overlord weapon is just a slightly shorter than than average uh, light blade. I mean, and this is just another spear. Oh, actually. Okay. I suppose we have seen that spear follow up. It's pretty neat. Too bad I'm pretty sure that um, activating light attack after a heavy attack does not uh, trigger any special combo. This is our normal spear attack, and after a heavy attack, we just transition right into that. Mm. Oh, yeah, and the full. Uh, Three hit combo for this, albeit very, very slow, is pretty sweet. Right, and holding the button, light attack, does this little combo here, and well, of course, we can charge the Beast Lord for what it's worth. Let's do this. Okay, um, but enough with that. I really was not going to spend all that much time here. Uh, we can sell some stuff, I think. Oh. Or can we? No, actually, I might have done that off camera, or maybe I just didn't collect anything else to sell. Hmm. Okay. I really hope I'm not forgetting something. Oh, wait. We have some intel to check. Unit data. Lots of unit data, actually. Multi tier types. Ah, yes. Actually, um,. The ones with the cannons, yeah, they're just a, a modification of this type. Makes sense. Oh. Hello. <laughs> uh, can you zoom out? I don't think you can. Nope. Wait. Ah, right, we can just switch through them like this. Gun equipped and multi-tier. Medium quadruped. Ah, yes, we had not seen this one. A four-legged medium-sized machine life form that resembles an animal. Occasionally seen with a smaller machines riding on its back. Well, we haven't seen that yet, I don't think. This unit attacks using the great mobility afforded by its legs. The tips of its limbs are equipped with wire cutters that can be used in combat. Oh yeah, indeed. That's pretty pretty sick looking, actually. I like it. I wouldn't mind one of those for me to ride. Hmm. Uh, well, the tail segment is actually a collapsible claw-like arm. Yep. Well, we've seen all the different uh, parts of these enemies reused and reassembled in different ways. Which is, I mean, some people might say that it's cheap, you know, basically saving on assets for building all your all your enemies from the same set of parts, but it, it makes sense, you know, story-wise, and I really like the concept. Uh, wait. This variant resembles a human when upright. Its slim body allows it to attack with unusual swiftness. Oh, I guess when upright they're really... Uh, no, that's not the one. They're... Small sphere... Linked Sphere? No, we've seen those. 
Oh. Oh, wait, maybe? Hold on. Model viewer? Ah, okay. So yeah, that is actually Father Servo. So that's just the upright version of those. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um, Multi-leg medium model. Also a new one. A medium-sized machine life form that has multiple legs. J much like an insect. Uh, yeah, except... Well, no. Never mind. It does have six legs and two arms. So it's really like a... Like a crab. Uh, by emitting energy from the tips of its legs, it can move about as though gliding across the ground. Okay. Hmm. Also a pretty cool one. Goliath bipad. No, no different versions of those. Reverse jungle Goliath. Actually, let's, let's just go through them like this. Ah, yes, okay. And we have seen... Oh, that's just another version of those. The, the shell-looking, or the snail-looking one. Actually just has a drill on its back. Not sure how useful that is, but it didn't seem to really use it to attack either. Oh, and this, this is the shooter version, which cannot actually see anything. Because it doesn't have any kind of face. The spherical machine life form requires tremendous energy to stay afloat, so offense is not its strong suit. Well, except for those with the giant axes. And actually, the f the uh, the flying type with the or the, the the gun type is the one that killed me. So yeah, uh, it offsets this by equipping weapons that are powerful enough to make up for its inherent lack of strength. Oh, okay, that's what they mean. Fair enough. Uh, change equipment. Thorn equipped. Gun equipped. Ah, yes, of course, that's the one that shot me. Wait, doesn't it say anything about the? About this guy? This is clearly the, the least threatening in this family. Oh well. Link spheres, desert machines, amusement park, village machines. Jean-Paul. Oh. A machine life form who lived in Pascal's village and was preoccupied with philosophy. Followers across the land regularly tried to win his favor with gifts, though he regarded such efforts with disdain. He eventually departed on a journey to learn the truth of the world and was never heard from again. Oh. Spoilers, I guess. We're not going to meet him again. Or will we? Oops. Not done here. Pascal, father, mother, child, big sister, little sister, scientist machine. Oh, of course. The self-proclaimed genius sought investors for a once-in-a-lifetime invention, a rocket which landed on Mars instead of the moon. Yeah, what a failure. Despite the project ending in failure, it also served to solidify his standing as a unique intellect. I mean... <laughs> Animation? No animation. Okay. Never mind. Uh, enhanced machines. Medium. Oh, right. That was pretty imposing looking. Especially in this form. Although, I, I almost like the quadruped form more. Right. But these are going to have all the same text. Actually, probably all the enemies I fought down there were the black and red ones. It was just too dark to really tell the difference. And... Killing one of these enhanced machines probably just adds the entries for both the enhanced and the regular form. Right. Goliaths. Spheres. Yeah. Special unit machines. Androids. Peculiar machines. Blood drenched machine. What? Oh, that's the guy uh, who, so who sought revenge. A machine life form drenched in blood. Filled with res resentment over the destruction of its comrades at the hands of the resistance, it now seeks revenge against all androids. Well, that's over, thankfully. Oh boy. Zombie clowns. Amicable machines. Okay, that's it. Uh, fishing. I don't think we've seen anything new here. No. Weapon stories. Well. Oh. Death and recovery, right. Yes. Uploading on d upon death. Yes. Okay. Alright, uh, I think that's just about it. Well, we're going to go on another subterranean adventure, potentially. No idea if it's going to be anywhere near as extensive as the previous one. I've t uh, taken, look, uh, taken a look into that other tunnel, but only... Oh? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
slight slowdowns here. Retrieve Zebrick. Um, yeah, but only a little bit, and it it was it didn't lead into a, into a cave, at least not as far as I could tell. But the actual sewer section went on for a lot longer, so we'll see if that leads anywhere or or not. But first, the most important thing. Hello? Can we can we not talk to you? Because we need 9S or... Whoa, oh, because um, there are enemies nearby. Presumably. Or an enemy. Is that it? Does that prevent conversation? Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, so... That's probably also what happened that one time when I couldn't t talk to the, um, to the speed star. After failing a race, I ended up reloading, but maybe I didn't have to. Hmm. Well, who knows? Oh, 47 minutes later. Hmm, that's very specific. Okay, then, let's see what we've got. I uh, got those 110 or 110. I was manu. Huma. Manu. Manufactured by humans? Maybe? I don't know. Request version of stat... Something of status? This thing can talk? It seems to be replaying some kind of data. Machines don't have a conscious mind, you know. Well, it's, it's really unfortunate that some of these quests are clearly... Um, not referencing any of the, of the things that we've learned in the meantime. Obviously, we have met plenty of machines that have a conscious mind. That's pretty much confirmed at this point, right? Not even 9S and 2B, or not even 9S, I should say, is doubting anymore that the Force Machines actually do have a consciousness, right? And are not just repeating uh, patterns of speech without understanding what they're saying. But, well, let's just pretend that these happened in a different order or something. Hmm. I managed to pull some data out of his memory. It seems to be info on the factory where it was constructed. I'll save it in a readable format. Thank you. Okay. Archive obtained. Angles. 1110B. Record 0005. Hmm. Is this everything? No, it seems there's more. Uh-huh. But I need additional parts to access the rest, as I thought. Let's see. Four pristine screws and one large gear should be enough to bridge the gap in its memory circuits. Fair enough. Okay. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. Thank you. Machine examination two. Did you learn anything from the factory data? Just how it was manufactured. Pretty boring, actually. There's hmm. still a lot about machines that we don't understand. That's Gather as much true. data as you can, no matter how irrelevant it may seem. Right. Uh, let's take a look at this intel. Oh, okay, that. Increase it to 3%. So I guess each entry is about 1.5% worth or something. Um, that still makes for a lot of, of pieces of intel that we have yet to collect. Angles, memories. Oh, and there are multiple entries to this. Shipment re record February 14. Approved February 14. Angles, fortress destroyed, transformable, combi uh, transformable combination infantry. Infantry. Four units. Okay. A, B, C, and D. This is this was B. I guess we have destroyed how many of them? Where we're in the intro sequence, the one that attacked, and then two or three more emerged from the water. So we might have seen all four of them at this point. Huh? Who knows? Uh, Angles Goliath class suppression flight weapon. What? Production code zero two two A. Uh, four units of the combination infantry, and one. No, I don't get it. Inspection, okay. One suppression flight weapon, Goliath class suppression flight weapon. Okay, not entirely sure how to, or what to make of that info, but it's pretty obvious that by itself that doesn't really tell us much. 
Okay, and we can get all the materials around here, it looks like. Huh. All in various parts of the city. Well, I guess we'll, we might as well do that then. Looks like uh, it shouldn't take that long. Right then, of course, we still have the parade escort, which is pretty much the only other quest. Well, no, actually, that's not true. We have the parade escort, we have uh, the robo dojo, and we have this um, this trial in the desert. But those are the other, the only other quests that I am currently uh, able to do because they are in areas that I can reach. Well, I suppose we might as well uh, hunt down these parts since they're right here. I was almost expecting them to to point me in, into uh, to point me to areas that I haven't reached yet. Or at the very least, you know, areas that are a bit further away than just around the corner. Oh, these guys are pretty dodgy somehow. Well, maybe it's just because I'm not used to fighting with a spear. Okay, that doesn't seem so bad. What level is it? 20? Huh. Doable. No idea what the level what level that the guy for the first quest was. Might have been level 20 as well? I don't know. Come on, come blow up already. Give me your stuff. Spill your guts. There we go. Christine's crew. So we're probably going to be fighting four of these, and then something else? Hmm, actually, there are only four markers here, right? Now that I think about it, but we're supposed to get five separate items? We'll, we'll see how that works. This is not what I'm meant to do. Okay, good. Come on, I can definitely make it onto that roof, can I? There we go. Not that I need to, but I wanted to. What is this? Yeah, Analysis. it's still the same freaking it hole. It is a cave caused by the collapse of an open space underground. Why is there such a huge cavern beneath the city? I also wonder if there are any other, possibly any other openings around the walls of the crater that I might have missed. The second pipe that I know about is right down here. Right down there, maybe? I don't know. I think it's... Yeah, actually, that's the, that's the pipe right there. And the other one is right behind this that building there. I looked around a little bit and I didn't see anything else immediately, so chances are that uh, those are the only ones. Okay. That's a weird looking enemy. Okay. This is a little bit dangerous. Oh, actually, though, no. that guy is toast. Um. Is he? Look at that. 25 damage per shot. Get wrecked. No matter how quickly you fly, man. You gotta be dead. Pretty soon, right? Yeah, there we go. Give this another... Level 21, actually. That hardly makes a difference. Ouch. Ow, come on, don't do that. That's a, that's a nice change of pace, not having to worry about enemies hitting me at all. Very different from, from our underground exploration last time. Oh, he kind of created a knot. Made a knot out of itself. Okay. Where is this stuff? Is this it? Nope. Oh, titanium alloy, though. Yeah, that's... I guess those worms drop that, no matter the level. Okay, another pristine screw. The next one is... Well, you know what, I'm gonna grab this one, and then I'm gonna grab this one, and maybe I'm gonna attempt the dojo again, because I feel pretty powerful. Oh, you know what, uh, there is something, there is one thing I changed. Um, nope, come on. 
I did uh, fuse some more th um, some more chips together, and I um, changed my my chipset. Uh, in fact, I got rid of uh, the experience display and the uh, current objective display because they are really not necessary at all. I basically stripped all my my hot elements down to the absolute uh, bare necessities. I mean, obviously, you could do without almost or actually all of without all of them. I mean, an HP gauge is pretty useful to have. Skill gauge is not necessary, but it's nice to have. Enemy data uh, is also not necessary, but uh, really something I want to have. Minimap as well. Text log uh, is also kind of necessary, or else I won't be able to keep track of what I'm picking up and stuff. Damage values also, but uh, yeah. I mean, if I really needed to get rid of some extra points or get, make some, some more room, I could get rid of Maybe the skill gauge, first and foremost. Maybe the text log. But, uh, yeah, I really don't want to. I did equip an extra weapon attack up plus two, because I had exactly nine points left over. I was debating uh, what I wanted to equip. Uh, the, the main thing I got rid of is actually uh, speed up, so I don't have any movement speed up at this point. But I did um, get an improved auto heal plus four. I fused all, of, all the ones that I had together into this one. Um, increasing the cost quite a bit, but it is now a 4.8% uh, per tick, so that's that should um, give me a lot of uh, regeneration out of combat. Or even in combat, actually. Uh, what else is new? HP up plus 4 for a 25% increase. Pretty neat. Uh, Money defense. I did equip a critical up, because why not? And yeah. And then lots of weapon attack up. These can definitely be optimized. Uh, in fact, yeah, as soon as I get another plus two, or possibly even another uh, plus nothing, I could equip, I could fuse those into another plus two, then those into an, uh, those two into another plus three, and into another plus four, and then you know maybe end up with another uh, with one uh, weapon attack up plus five for a uh, actually that should be a twenty percent increase, pretty neat, and that's definitely gonna cost less than. Um, both this one and this one for almost the same effect, right? So uh, that would make up room, open up room for something else. So in that way, there's still, there are definitely still uh, lots of ways to optimize. Whoa, okay, slow down. Uh, so yeah, there's the one pipe. The other one we can't. Oh no, actually you can't see it from here. And I'm pretty sure on this side there's nothing of the sort. in one of these ruins, maybe in one of these half broken down buildings. Uh, that would be pretty devious to hide something like some anything important in one of those, because there are just so many little nooks and crannies to check. So, um, well, as usual, if you know more than I do, uh, feel free to let me know if I missed anything that's worth checking out. But for the time being, I'm gonna assume that there are just those two pipes. Oh, this parade quest. I'm a little bit afraid of attempting that again. That was just there were just so many enemies shooting from all directions, and I felt really lost, uh, really overwhelmed. Oh. oh, okay. That was a. I guess maybe I wasn't hit by the the actual impact of his jump, but the shockwave he created. They draw. Auto use item. Eh. Huh? Auto use item plus two. Wow. Did he drop both of those? I don't think I've ever seen an enemy drop multiple items, let alone multiple chips at once. But I guess that must have happened. Hmm. Hey, big guy. What? 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 Oh, small guy. Fear. Oh, did I stagger him? Can I... Is there a finishing move for the big guys? Doesn't seem like it. Would you guys please 
stop pestering me. Alright. Another pristine screw. What's the final item gonna be? I mean, technically I should know, or I could just look it up, but kind of forgot. All right, so it's four of these big guys. Fair enough. Oh, oh. Okay, he's turning fast. Ow. Although I wonder. Can you please stop shooting. I wonder if it's possible to destroy his uh, his cannon part. Oh, 22. Uh, not a significant difference, really. Okay. Another okay. one. Okay. That should be everything we need to repair the machine. Really? Just four screws? I could have sworn he said he needed something else, too. Maybe not, though. I guess I might be wrong. Well, let's attempt Father Serpo, shall we? <laughs> we definitely have a lot more damage, or at least quite a bit more damage than we had last time I did. Come on. Um. Oh, this... Oh, wow. I did not think I would make this. Hey, hey Daddy. Sure. Mm-hmm. Oh god! Right, he does not give you any break whatsoever. Well, I mean, I'm dealing some damage to him. Actually, only quite a bit more than the first time around. Or last time I tried. Should I be doing this? I really don't remember the exact damage values. But I can only assume that it was not anywhere near this much. Oh boy. Actually, let me activate the charge up version of this. Nope. Out of here. Out of here. Oh god. Oh god. I say out of here and go right into him. Jesus. I never know when he's gonna do the the rolling attack or something else. Yeah, something else. Well, he's, he's definitely going down. No, nope, that's the rolling attack. Okay. Oh, but it was a very short one. Oh, let's charge the things and blast him. Two lasers. I guess they're probably not even all that powerful, considering my pods are completely unupgraded. But they still deal some damage, so. Nope. Oh, oh god. I mean, the good news is that he doesn't deal nearly as much damage as I think he was doing. Probably mostly because we're uh, a few levels higher than we were. I wonder if I'm going to be dealing more damage like this. Oh boy, okay. That was fun. Oh, 
feel like I'm dealing more damage with this fast attacking blade weapon than with the, the spear. As much as I would rather, you know, using a different kind of weapon for a change. Oh, was he? Wait. Did he give me a finishing move there? Hmm, weird. Or is that just a prompt to talk to him? Ow. Can't really tell. Servo, there you go. You better yield, man. Jeez, what a fight. I mean, honestly, not super dangerous anymore. Not nearly as dangerous as it used to be, but um, still took a while. So, what do you want this time? More weird junk? To business already. My my. Figured I should get it over with and save us both some time. You're a clever one, aren't you? Well, when the heavens offer sucker. It is poor for, it is poor form to refuse. Father Servo requires a silver ore, a pristine screw, and a broken battery. Hold on, that's more stuff than last time. Error, error, bad file or path wipe. Bzz. Yeah, yeah. Nice try, man. Stop it. I know you're not broken. <sighs> Let's go already. Have you brought the required items? Um, actually, I think I have all the stuff. Although, the pristine screws that I have are quest items? Or are they technically the same as regular drops. I guess I'm gonna try. We've got what you wanted. Pretty much needed a wheelbarrow to carry it all. Thank you, my child. With these items, the flesh of Father Servo will be so, 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 so powerful! Good, because I'm getting... I'm going to beat you silly next time to make up for all your stupid errands. Oh, wow. Nice level up. Wait, did we... Oh, no, no, we were, we're at 27. Never mind. Okay, broken batteries, ranged up... Oh, range attack up plus two. All right. Uh, large recovery, 5,000 gold. Good month experience. Okay. Quest updated three times. How so? Uh, re yes, regardless, modifying one's body is not a process accomplished quickly or without effort. So until your next visit, farewell. All right. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Using this... Um, this, whatchamacallit, Ancient Overlord actually felt pretty good. I think I want to combine that with the Beast Lord. As lame as it may be. And then, I don't know, make a, an all-spear set here. Just because, why not? Well, this actually deals a good amount of damage. Hmm. Well, no. Actually, average damage should be better for this one. Also, I like it better, so... There you go. Yeah, I guess I'll be lame and use mostly uh, light and heavy blades together. So what's up with this place? Is anything huh. ever going to happen here? That's new. What? What is? Actually, I think she might have made the same comment the first time I got here. Okay, anyway, uh, we have... Do we still have the stuff? Do we still have the, the screws for the machine head here? <laughs> I think we do. I guess we must have had some pristine, uh, pristine screws as regular enemy drops to begin with. Oh, well, again, did not think I was going to make that jump. Oh, I know this route all too well. Oh, look, look at me doing these jumps perfectly. Huh. 
All right. We still don't have what we need. Wait, we don't? Oh. That's interesting. Huh. I guess I did use one of those screws for... For a different purpose. Um, I really hope I didn't break anything that way. How would I... Hmm. I have a feeling that maybe if I... Uh, when I, when I uh, quit the game and re reload, one of the areas is going to reactivate again. Or maybe just... One of the enemies is going to respawn. In fact, maybe one of the big guys has respawned over here. To give me another sc another screw, but... Uh, hmm. It's interesting that the game would allow you to... To use a quest item for a different purpose. Yeah, well, he's definitely not here. Huh. Well, I, I never really left this general area, so maybe... That's all it takes. Or, you know, I could just wait. What does the quest actually say? Probably that I'm missing a screw. <laughs> uh, active quests. Yes. I really... Oh, large gear. We already have that. That's why it didn't ask me to collect that. Okay, so pristine, pristine screws can be collected as normal drops. I suppose I'll... Worst case scenario, I'm gonna have to wait until I get one from an enemy. And then I'll be able to complete the quest. Alright, so this is the other uh, pipe, the one that I first happened to uh, stumble upon. So let's check this out now. Who knows, maybe I'll find a pristine screw inside. That would be extremely convenient. It's not super dark in here, but let's use the light, why not. I did uh, do some fishing in here, and uh, I didn't do it for too long, but uh, I caught the exact same types of junk that I caught in the uh, sewer leading to the amusement park. Just some tires and a gas canister. So there might be a different rare drop here, or rare catch. Maybe I'm gonna spend some more time when I feel like it. Oh, hello. Didn't see it before. Medium recovery. I would really like a pristine screw, that would be awesome. This is about as far as I went when I, you know, it's the when I realized that this was gonna probably keep going, at least for a while longer. Pearl obtained. Oh, a pearl, actually. Wow, I didn't even really pay attention to that. Although I'm not sure if we even need any more pearls at this point. Okay. Die. Oh, that leads somewhere. Oh, wait. It leads over here? To a, a new area? The flooded city area, right? What? Hmm. That's, uh... Definitely not what I expected. At all. Maybe this is a separate area. Hello? Oh, okay. We got... An access point here. Got a lake to, to fish in. Hmm. Also conveniently placed mount. Oh wow, these guys are... They must have been level 1 or something. Map information unlocked. Huh? Oh, I interacted with it. I guess I might as well save. And, I mean, do we learn what this is called, or... Oh, I guess this did indeed unlock the entire coastal region here. What are these? Are we going to go there? No, I guess they're displayed in, in dark gray, so we won't be able to, to enter those. Maybe those are the construction platforms used to create those, those giant machine platforms and something? Hmm. Interesting. Well, we can now complete two more quests or actually wait this is just another um, well if I'm if I'm correct and this is a part of the DLC then this is just the location of another combat arena but uh, I guess we'll be able to meet the the wandering couple again or find out what happened to them 
Spectre. And just to make sure. Yes. Commencing. Of course we can fish here. Just once. Just to see if we get something new immediately. Probably not though. Can hardly see my drone down there. Well, the light helps. But you can also rely on the sound it makes. No need to actually see it. And it's a killifish. How lame. Okay. I'm gonna return here at some point off camera and do some more fishing. Is this lead anywhere? No. Doesn't seem like it. And I can only assume that jumping in here will uh, do the same thing as jumping into that little subterranean lake. Hmm. Are there possibly things to climb up to? I feel like there are all kinds of opportunities for me to miss things. Okay, these enemies are level 20 ish. Gold ore. Have we seen gold ore before? Hmm, I don't specifically remember. Huh? Oh, hello. Huh, interesting. Rusty bolt. Uh, JD Cloud Sky? So far, this is not a very exciting area, but very atmospheric. Wait, the couple? Oh, right there, yes. Well, they're still alive, it looks like. So that's good. Almost a bit unexpected. Ooh. Nice. Um, hey, guys. How are you doing? Thank you again for your help. Oh, we need to talk to her. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hello. Remember us? You saved her hides a little a little while back. Yes. Thank you again for your help. I know this is awkward, but if you have the time, we could actually use your assistance again. Uh, sure. Don't you dare ask for more help. But... No, what is it? Do you need more parts to repair yourselves? I won't accept... Put your pride aside, you foolish man. We need the help, and you know it. I know, but... Why must you always be so stubborn? Just let me handle this. Yes, we need your help. But not with finding parts. We're actually trying to flee to a land across the sea. Okay. Oh, how's that going to work? There's a sympathetic figure in the Resistance who's offered to help us. People refer to him as the Emancipator. Okay. However, he doesn't work for free. I'll be frank, we need 50,000 gold in order to secure his services. Would you be will willing to donate it to our cause? I mean, obviously. What else do I have the money for? Wait, I don't... Oh, no! I... God damn it. I, I really thought I had enough. No, that's right. We don't. I guess I'll do some fishing then. After this episode. 50k, huh? I mean, sure. I'm a bit lame to just ask you for more money. At least make me kill some kind of special enemy for some kind of special drop or something. But no. Oh, wow. Well, I guess that does deal a lot of damage. At least to lowish level enemies like these. So it comes. Thousand gold. There we go. Just out of curiosity. Okay, we're actually not that far away. Almost 40k. Salty sea dog. Perished near the sea. How fitting. Yeah, those are those large things. Oh, those actually... Never mind, those are not construction platforms at all. Those are... Um, rocket launch pads. Tanning agent. Interesting. Blend. 
got blended. Hmm, actually this doesn't seem to really lead anywhere, so this was, as far as I can tell, this is obviously not the flooded uh, city area. Near. Very original name there. Well, we'll see. There might be something interesting at the end of this, after all. In fact, I do see some smaller platforms that we can apparently go to, so maybe we will reach the uh, those launch pads after all. Let's see. Dicks. Whoa. NSFW usernames. Okay, a bunch of flyers up there. Definitely better off aiming manually in this case. Wrecked. Get sniped. Me too. Come on. Come on. I mean, I guess I could just go over there and make this a lot easier. Uh, there was some item here somewhere. Oh, right here. More gold ore. Fair enough. Oh, we can fish in the actual sea here. Ooh. Right, I didn't even consider that possibility. I'm definitely going to do that. You know what? I am going to do it at least once. Because I have a feeling like... Uh, we're definitely going to get some... Some new uh, fish in this area, right? Where, if not in the actual sea? Another pearl, sweet. Neon seer, neon sir, actually neon sir. Come on. And Moshido. Can we fish from all the way up here? Uh, no. Commencing fishing. Bye bye, 9S. It was nice knowing you. Seriously though, where is he? Who knows? I don't even see my my pot. Oh. Good thing I don't need to. And it's Report. Fresh. New? Oh, that's a, a real mackerel. Nice. Okay. That's okay. That's fast. Oh, that's a, just a tire. Hypothesis. Garbage. I guess uh, the descriptions for most of the junk parts did say that uh, they came from the sea, right? So we're probably gonna catch much of the same stuff here, plus some actual li living fish. An actual sea star? Looks like it. Yep, or sea star. It's starfish. Wow, super fast bites. I wonder if that's just real luck. Oh, that's a uh, arowana. Yeah. Oh, that, wait, that's a oh a, a two phase. Huh. I thought it looked weird, but I didn't really pay too much attention. I guess it really was an arowana with a face on each end. Um, not sure how that works. In fact, I don't really want to know. Report. Oh, wow. Fresh. So many new things. That's, uh, what's it called? Horseshoe crab. That's right. I love those. Okay, one more. more. Come on. Please don't be one of those that never bite. It looks like something's biting. The thing is moving. Should I just reel it in? Yes. Okay. And it's just Catch another starfish. Okay. 
there are definitely going to be more Complete. more new fish to catch here. Fish and other various things. Okay, um, let's take a look at those, shall we? 60% of the fish now, well, wow. Two-Face, huh, yes, an odd fish with heads at both sides of its body, however it only looks like this during the first year of its life, only uh, once it matures, the largest head becomes the actual head, while the other one just gives up and becomes a tail instead, that's, uh, I'm pretty sure that's not actually how things work in nature, but sure, a common poisonous fish, mackerel, what, mackerels aren't poisonous, Am I... Maybe that's a mistranslation, or maybe they just uh, intentionally made it different from the actual world, because as far as I'm aware, our mackerels really... Well, first of all, they look different. Um, a little bit different. And also, they are definitely not poisonous. <laughs> I've, I've actually uh, fished some pl plenty of mackerels myself and eaten them. No problem. Um, a common poisonous fish. It congeals fluids inside... What? It congeals fluids inside android bodies when eaten, so its consumption has been outlawed. Okay. Strangely enough, it has no effect on humans. Okay, that actually makes perfect sense. Or, I mean, it doesn't necessarily make sense, but that explains everything I was just wondering about. An arthropod that lives in shallow waters. Their shells are used by some female androids to cover their chests in a sort of fashion statement. Okay. Huh. Starfish. This critter uses its five arms to move about, while the mouth at its center inhales dead fish and clams. Inhales, I guess. Despite the appearance, it's actually quite friendly and will often move closer to you if you touch it. Okay. Is that so? Closer if you try to touch it. Interesting. Well, it's possible that the uh, two-headed arowana here is the, the, the rare fish for this area be pretty lucky if we got that so early on, but um, who knows, there might be a lot more. Alright, is there anything sneakily hidden somewhere? And there is definitely plenty of opportunity. Should be able to stand on this, right? Yes. And even if we do fall into the sea, I guess we're going to be fished out by our trusty Pod companion. No, oh, come on. Really? Can I please? Oh, you know what? I just realized what I didn't re equip. Uh, what, what kind of chip I, I got rid of and kind of forgot about it. Uh, my shockwaves. But you know what? Those are actually not that essential, I think. Not sure if they add extra damage while attacking in melee. I guess they do give you an, uh, another way of damaging faraway enemies. I mean, that's the obvious purpose, but... Um, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll do some experimentation, or read up on it, or something. But honestly, it took me until just now to even realize what I was missing. So I guess it's really not that big of a deal at all. I mean, I'll, I'll check again. If I can get rid of the the lowest level damage increase and uh, equip a... Uh Actually, I can do that right now. And, equ and then equip a shockwave instead. I might do that just for, you know, the sake of having it. Customize. All chips. Let's see here. Right. I mean, it is 8% weapon damage for 9 points. Let's see. Shockwave. I could equip a shockwave plus 2. Hmm. Just a regular shockwave. Is it worth it? Probably not, but, you know. I kind of like these shockwaves flying off willy-nilly. Hmm, is it just me, or did they used to travel a lot farther? Oh, maybe not. No, actually, they travel pretty far. Okay. Nothing in here, really? Ah, 
Aha. Skill cell. Eh. Not exciting. Hmm, there's another one of these flowers. They must have some kind of relevance at some point. There's definitely going to be, I don't know, a quest or something asking me to find all of them. Hmm. End of the line? I'll be able to enter that building there. Oh yeah, of course. We know that one set of uh, coordinates leads there. Okay. That seems to be all there is here. Oh, that's pretty hidden. Hello. Oh. Hey, do you have a membership card? Uh, no. I can't let anyone in here if they don't have a membership card. Now be gone from here. Negotiate. I told you to scram. You're not getting in here without a membership card. Let money do the talking? Um. You think I can just be bribed like that? I've never been this insulted in my life. Come on. Take a thousand gold. Hmm. Well, this card appears to be in order. <laughs> Please, this way. Okay, it opens up. I mean, I definitely don't have time to deal with whatever is in here. Please, this way. Hmm. I am re really curious, but I'm gonna possibly take a look in there next time. I don't know. Hmm, the thing is now it's actually now that I've opened it, it's no longer marked on the map. Uh maybe that was a mistake? Well, I definitely won't forget about it, so the wandering couple, right. We still need money for those. So hmm. The thing is, I'm not sure if I want to if I want to um uh do all the side quests I possibly can at this point. Including the the two uh, Arenas. I'm definitely going to do some more fishing after this episode is over, and that will give me plenty of money to uh, pay off the wandering couple here. But, um... Oh, and also there's Father Servo, but, I mean, last time was barely doable with our current damage. Or ba barely, you know, feasibly doable. Um, so the next level is definitely going to be... Much less uh, reasonable. So I'm probably going to hold off on doing that. Um, but yeah, I wonder if I should do the, these two arenas now, or if it's safe to to delay that until we investigated the sinkhole. I really want to do that. So I, I think I'm feeling that, that I'm going to do that uh, next time, finally. Uh, dive down there and look around. I mean, chances are that it's not actually going to lead anywhere. Or, you know, well, who knows? Anything could happen, really. Uh, so, either way, I just want to find out what it is. And, um, yeah, I'm going to trust that these arenas are going to stay open for a while longer. Alright, that being said, uh, we are in uh, 58 minutes, so I guess that's a pretty good time for an episode. I'm, uh, so I'm going to... End the episode here. I was con uh, I was thinking if I should just be do uh, doing some extra fishing for anyone who might be interested in watching, watching me potentially catch Commencing something new. Fishing. So I suppose if you're not interested in fishing, you might as well uh, stop watching now. Um, in that case, I thank you very much for watching, as always. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, uh, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. And bye-bye, of course. And everyone else... No, I don't know. No, that's, that's kind of silly. I'm going to end it here. So um, I'm going to do some more fishing off-camera. And next time I'm going to present you with all the results, of course. Any, any new findings. And we're going to do some things. Probably, most likely, uh, continuing with the main story. So look forward to that, and bye-bye.